Hey there, folks. Welcome to another episode. This isn't the Cripes cast, okay, Charlie? That was your Cripes cast voice. <laughs> Miles, you know what? I'm taking, first of all, what if it was? Would that be a bad thing? No, I wouldn't. You're right. I was trying to give a little bit of energy. It's a, you hey, know. But folks, you have to admit that's how you start the Cripes cast, is it not? It is. It is. It is. Damn. Hey there, folks. And every time you're like, what's up? This is a uh, You know podcast. what? You know what? I'm not even mad. I'm not even mad. I'm so happy you listened to the Cripes cast. Yeah, see? So um, I remember the, it was a great episode last episode. It was a bunch of stuff you talked about. It was awesome. Miles, you know what you should do? You should support your local bar. That's what we're doing right That's here, right great, now. That's a great, great hat you're wearing. That must have took so much thought to put <laughs> support your local bar, period. Oh, you're- Midwest nice is real tough <laughs> to think about, too. So is this what this podcast is going to be from now on? We just roast each no, other's podcast. No, no, no. Hey, podcast I apologize. It was just funny because I could tell you were a little bit confused on which podcast. We uh, you were know on. what? Here, here's the deal. Here's the deal. I, I'm. <laughs> we, we're going to change subjects, and you don't need to make fun of me over my podcast or over my merch because oh, you sorry. get to make fun of me over my Harley riding skills. Yes. Joining us on this intro is Jason Johns. Jason, how in the heck are you? I'm doing well, Charlie. Thank you. So Jason and I met. Uh, Jason uh, is over at the Center for Veterans Issues. He is a Purple Heart recipient. Um, He served in Iraq. He has just been a former commander of uh, the VFW uh, here in Wisconsin. Um, He and I have done a lot of work with veterans over the years. Great, great dude. Also a great Harley rider. Sure. Did a Harley video. So, Jason, you just yeah. got to talk into that mic there for this a second. Mic right here? This yeah, one? yeah, there you go. Well, you, you, were the t- one? you were talking away from it a little. I, we don't have that though, that good of microphones. So you kind of I have said. to, you got to make out with it a little bit. Okay. Yeah. So, That's Jason. Weird, well, but. Jason, thanks for coming on the pod, man. Hey. Thank you for your service. Thanks for everything that you're doing. Thanks, Miles. Question is, though. Yes, sir. I got to know. How good is Charlie at riding a motorcycle? Um, Be nice to me. Okay, he's don't. got a good heart. <laughs> <laughs> he's got a good Harley spirit. He, he's, is what you're he's saying. Got, he's got potential. Let's okay. put it that way. He's okay. got potential. What? What but, is? I mean, as soon as we can find neutral, <laughs> we, we'll be working our way towards. Well, hey, in your in your defense, Charlie, you're all gas, no brakes. You're just kind of a guy that goes <laughs> all gas, no brakes. It's hard brakes, to find but, neutral. It is that, hard yeah. to find neutral when you're running at such high octane. You yeah. Know? <laughs> Look, it, okay, Jason, back no. me up. Isn't finding neutral on a Harley? One of the hard, you know, not the easiest thing to do. <laughs> that this is true. This is true. There cool. is a little trick to it, right? Okay. You got to get the right notch there, right at the bottom, and then sometimes you got to move the bike, like I showed you today. You just got to yeah, kind of give it a little nudge. Give it a little and, nudge, and then yeah. boom, you can. Because it's not it. like your normal gears, right? It's not one down or three, four, five up. It's that little in between, between one and two. You just got to okay. give it a little nick. Yeah, so. just a, just a little, just love a little, just a little love. finding neutral sometimes is a lot like finding. Should be good. Should anyways, be good. Yeah, anyways, uh, no, no. Let's yeah. just let's yeah. just leave it at that. Yeah, we so leave that for the so the kids can still. It's listen a great to life it. lesson too, though. <laughs> Sometimes in life, you just got to find neutral, take a moment, relax, really yeah. appreciate yep. everything, and just paddle walk the bike. Yeah, just paddle walk it. <laughs> there you go. Well, um, he did keep it up though. He did keep it up. <laughs> I mean that's a good that's a good sign of wow. success. Yeah, go so, ahead, Miles. I'm glad you're go finally ahead. learning how to do there that. There it is. Yeah. There it is. Set up spike. I'm glad yeah. you guys. Did you guys you, plan? Do you want to maybe no. forego this whiskey shot we got in front of us no, so Lord. that you can uh, keep wow. it up later? Or? Okay, Miles. What? You know, th- th- this is um this is a family podcast. Oh yeah, is it? Yeah, yeah. no. We're literally <laughs> sitting in a bar with 15 drinks in front of us. Right. Yeah, so um, j- before we get too far on this, yeah. why don't you tell everyone the work that you guys are doing? You bet. So Center for Veterans Issues is Wisconsin's largest nonprofit, and we serve veterans, homeless veterans, at-risk veterans and their families, transitional housing, permanent housing, and wraparound services, right? So whatever they need to really get back on their feet, get going again, and it's something we're very proud to be doing here in the state. Yeah. And and how long have you been, guys been uh, going and, and where do you see, um, you know, you've been doing it here in um, Wisconsin? What, what What's kind of your trajectory with it? Uh, right now, we're looking to expand and make sure we can get out. So we've been in primarily in the Milwaukee area as far mm-hmm. as the housing goes, but we are in 55 of Wisconsin's 72 counties. And we're providing oh, yeah. those services where we kind of contract with landlords in those areas to provide housing. Yep. But our physical structures are down here. And we're looking to take that outside of Milwaukee County 
over the next few years. And you know what? If the model keeps going well, we'll take it to the Midwest. I like and that. And then nationally, yeah, right? I like so, that. You That's know, I hear, you know, we want to make sure we get as many of these veterans and their families taken care of as we can around the country. So. Yeah. We're going to Wisconsin. Yeah. We're going to Minnesota. <laughs> we're going to Illinois. And then we're going to the White House. <laughs> to the White House. Yeah, there you go. You should have been a pro wrestler. <laughs> yeah. Well, no, that was actually a politician who said that. Who was that again? Howard oh, Dean. Oh, Howard Dean. Dean. That's yeah. Right. yeah, there you go. Yeah. So uh, I forgot that that tanked his career. Didn't yeah, it kind of did. Yeah, yeah I really. But yeah. it could, that would not tank a career these days. That would no, I would career. send you to the moon. Yeah. So if uh, the listeners want to help you guys out, what's a way that they can uh, help out? Yes, sir. So head to cbivet.org and there's plenty of opportunities on there to donate. And, you know, we always take our accept, uh, donations there. We want you to make sure to keep an eye on Charlie. He's been a great supporter of ours. And he puts out different notices when he's helping us out with proceeds oh, and yeah. things. And honestly, we always take volunteers, right? We always need the good patriots in the area and others to help us out. So, again, cbivet.org. That's okay. awesome. I'll have to check it out. Yeah. I haven't, you, haven't, you haven't worked me into the fold on this yet, Charlie. Well, you know what? We'll do a donation from the Bellied Up podcast. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And uh, we'll do that uh, today. You yeah. know? Appreciate and, that. Uh, and, uh, all Jared, you- will you remind us? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, sometimes we say that stuff, and then you know, in one ear, out the other, because right. there's not. And much then it's always them. Jared's listening to the the thing back, like guys, we got to donate to this. <laughs> yeah. Do yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Then we do it, but yeah, that's right. But we'll definitely do it. We'll make sure to do it. And um, are you? Is so this is a good way, yep. Charlie? You could pay him for motorcycle license, and that could be your donation there. Because you clearly need motorcycle license lessons. Well, lessons. You said lessons. license. How oh, much sorry. have you been drinking, Miles? I had a little tequila. Miles so. has been supporting his local bar a little bit too much today. Sorry and that I'm having a good time with the patrons, you know? Yeah. Uh, you know what would be funny is if that hat said, support your vocal lar. Oh, God. Dang. <laughs> Write that no, down, no. Jared. Dante, that's ours. That's ours. Okay. That one's yeah, ours. Go ahead. Sure. Whatever. I told yeah, they can got, have it. I'm not going to You do got it. lots of friends that you've been supporting with us in the veterans community and my purple heart riders you know for yes. you know here in wisconsin and you know we'd love to have you out get you yeah get them the lessons well, you know, take it easy have some backcountry roads we also That's maybe need, need to get him a leather vest right i mean he doesn't could, what's it take you know you hey, oh, gotta earn that somehow on. i i'm not i'm not big into the biker community yeah. i'm very yeah. novice on it i go what's short it sleeves take? i'm a road rash warrior baby okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You get it? You like what I did there? Yeah, Put that it. on a hat. Yeah. 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 We could get him. Well, we could get him like a, you know, like a uh, village people's vest. Right? <laughs> there you go. Yeah. Yeah. Start there. Yeah. yeah. You can look like, yeah. get, get you an Aladdin yeah. vest maybe to start Maybe off. some Capri, <laughs> some Capri chaps. <laughs> yeah. Right. Full like, leather yeah, Capri. Yeah. Yeah. Don't you gotta, think I'm above any of that, Jason. <laughs> He's good actually Lord. thinking that's a good idea. That's not a bad look right there. <laughs> Um, and, uh, so uh, by the way, I, I just want to get this quick fact out before our intro ends, but, um, how far have you ridden in like one strip? What's it called? The iron ass, the iron butt, the iron butt. Yes, tell, tell them about this. Listen to this. This is so the iron, butt. in order to become part of that quote unquote club, you have to ride. Is that a big it's club a thing. to be a part it's of? It's a thing. Yeah. In the Harley. Yeah. Community. I'd love to you be bet. in the iron butt. You bet. Yeah. Yeah. You got to ride a thousand miles in 24 hours or less. Jeez. Yeah. Yep. So I'm a member how of many, that. How, have you done it multiple times? Or? I've done it twice. Nice. Yep. Do you yep. have a camelback so you're constantly staying hydrated? That one is actually, you put the cup holder on there. You mount, you figure out a way to either in the vest or you get a cup holder, put it on the bike handlebars. Uh-huh. So you stay hydrated there. But then the, uh, the bike stops are quick. Take care of the necessities, yeah. fill up, pound of water, and go. Oh, yep. got it. Yep. Nice. Well, maybe one day. <laughs> do you think I can do that on a Sportster? Not on a Sportster. Okay. No. Nope. If Let's... you do an iron butt on a Sportster, you'll have a broken back. <sighs> yeah, that's not going to be good. Okay. That's not going to be good. We'll get I, you, uh, I got shocks, though, on the back. Though. I know. Yeah. I know. So that's something. I'm looking forward to seeing you get your experience on it. Yeah, get we'll some do, legs under you. and We'll do some rides. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That'd be Absolutely. fun, man. It'd be a lot of fun. Well, dude, thank you hey, for you stopping bet, on. You and bet. Thanks for having me on. Yeah, well, thanks for doing appreciate good work. It, and uh, hopefully bet. some of the listeners as well as us will donate and help you guys out. Yeah, appreciate throw out that, that website just one more time. Just so CVIVET.org. That's CVIVET.org. There you go, folks. Use all your Catholic and Midwest guilt and uh, <laughs> go donate for cripes sake. There you go. In all seriousness, this, 
in all seriousness, I've had a tequila. Um, Jason, uh, thank you so much for your service and everything you do and all the vets out there. Shout out to you and thank you guys. And that's the least that we can do to Well, uh, appreciate support. that. Thank yeah, you for, awesome. you know, we need folks to keep remembering what's going on, who we got to help and what we, uh, our service. And by you guys doing this, by keeping it alive, that's how we remember. So Hell thank yeah. you. Thank you, sir. Thanks right. for coming on. We'll take some car Watch callers. Watch for Charlie. deer on your Harley, okay? Oh, I always yeah. scanning for them. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Sounds good, sir. Who we got on the horn? Hi, my name's Michaela. Hey, Michaela. How you doing? You're talking with Charlie and Miles. Hi. I hope you can help me with a predicament that I'm in. Okay, yes. let's dive into it. Let's what do you hear got? about it, Michaela. What's up? Okay, so I'm 20 weeks pregnant. <laughs> Congratulations. And my husband. Well, thank you. Thank you. Um, my husband has the opportunity to go to a Packer game the week before the baby is due. Oh, uh -oh. oh man. I see where this is going. Michaela. This is a predicament. I see where this is going. Does he go? I don't know. Uh, okay. <laughs> Let me just do a little math here. Um, the What week is the Packer game? Who are they playing? Just uh, kidding. The that it, it's okay. The third I was just going to say, it doesn't matter who they're playing. He's It's going to be a tough one no matter what. The Chargers, though, you said? Correct. Okay. And, like, the thing is, is we live, like, four hours from Lambeau. So we can't just hope that I, okay, so, you know, first don't of all, go into labor. Very funny that Charlie was like, well, it matters who they're playing on whether or not you're going to show up, you know, whether you're going to risk it. I like that, Charlie. You know, I was thinking for a second, but now it's not like you, it sounds like you guys aren't going to a lot of Packers games, right? Oh, no, this is like a once in a lifetime ish yeah. situation. Like, okay. you know, well, OK, maybe I don't know. Like, yeah. We are stock owners. Shout out to that. Congratulations. Yeah. Me too. Congrats for paying for that useless piece of paper. That's it's really awesome. Of you guys. Yeah, that's how really, really, how really good. dare it is you? Not well, it would be a stock if there was any value attached. There's to it. a so lot it of just value. a piece of paper. Miles, we are me and Michaela. So are what happens owners. if you sell that piece of paper? What happens? I would never sell okay, it. I am considering the birth of my first child. Don't tell me this is a useless piece. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Michaela. Okay, Thank you. It might be the hormones getting mad at me here. Oh, so. you stop it, Miles. <laughs> that is oh. not. I will not stand here and let you say this woman is 20 weeks pregnant. How dare you? Where is Anne? <laughs> Good God. This is why Ann doesn't want to hang out here. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> She's trying to get away from Michaela, me. Michaela, I apologize on behalf of my co-host who doesn't know his manners or his football. <laughs> so <laughs> can I beat him okay, for you? I, hey, I will apologize. That was below the belt. I am sorry. That was below the umbilical cord. I will not be doing that again. I'm sorry. Okay. Okay. I can tell by that laughter. The apology is accepted. Now, my follow-up question. Accepted. Yeah. Accepted. My follow-up question. The first question I had was, would it be the worst thing in the world if your baby was born in Titletown? Oh, see, that's around the line. I'm going on this. I feel like. So you want me to go to the game instead of him? Yeah. 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 I mean, well, now I'm actually who invited him to the game. Um, the, okay. Uh, friends of ours live in Brown County who won the lottery. So they like, there is potentially four tickets for our purchase. I just didn't think that I would at all potentially go. Oh, okay, no, so you're, you're going. Hold on. Sure. One, you take those four tickets and you go to the game. Because nothing is a better story than I went into labor while I was in Lambeau. In Field. fact, you're going to need three of those tickets just in case. You know, you can't be having this baby during the game and then they, yeah. you, they your baby you know, doesn't have a ticket. You, yeah, you that, know? you know, the baby needs a ticket to. Oh. You also want to make sure you're not getting any juice or guts on anyone around you. So you need that extra seat just in case there's a little extra room in case it happens right then and there at Lambeau Field. Miles. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Michaela, again, I'm going to apologize for Miles. <laughs> Do you know how birth works? It's just uh, clearly boom, not. No. Babies come, you know, and then they're there and they're nice and clean and you take a picture. That's how <laughs> it goes. I, I don't think you understand birth either. Michaela, here's my recommendation is that you go to the game with your husband and actually right now, 20 weeks, you got plenty of time to start this. I would 
transfer your primary care provider to one in Green Bay. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Take up maybe a, Bellin. I don't know how far away is Bellin from Lambo. Yeah, it's probably just down the main drag a little bit, you know. And maybe you yeah. guys take up temporary residence yep. in Green Bay, like the last four weeks or three weeks of your pregnancy. Just you know, rent an Airbnb. Start my maternity so. leave early. Exactly. I hadn't thought of that. Yeah, I mean, this could be a... You are seeing a, a problem here, but all I'm seeing are solutions, you know? I, I think you guys all go to the game. <laughs> and then before you go, you guys are going to be tailgating your husband. Uh, you know, there, there will definitely be a lot of Bloody Marys there. I'm in no way suggesting you you go the alcohol oh, route. Okay. But what I'm saying is you take a virgin Bloody Mary, okay, and you add in a little extra hot sauce. And some horseradish. And if I know... Uh, it was, Are you suggesting this is a way for her to induce labor? Is yes. That okay? And then that way you ensure that your baby is born at Lambeau Field. How many babies get to be born at Lambeau Field? This is a golden opportunity here. You just got to... Okay, then it's maybe we could name it Bo. Yeah. Or his middle name could be Bo. I yeah. don't know. Or Lamb. Lamb could be a good name as well. Uh, yeah, I, you know, let's go with Bo Miles, you know, <laughs> B-E-A-U. I do like that. Or Bo. Yeah, I, I there the names are, I mean, Vince, um, you know, Brett, Vince. Vince yeah, Vince. No, not Brett. Brett's, We're beyond that. Brett's. Yeah, he's. Oh, sorry. I thought you there's see been enough time. No, I mean, it's still too soon. Sorry, I mean, guys. Yeah, you know. Oh, yeah. I forgot. He's got the whole scandal going. Yeah, on. Never you just mind. defraud the state of Mississippi. Yeah, sorry. Wrong, wrong I take time. that back. Yeah. 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 So, anyways, there's a lot of names uh, that you can uh, go with. Bart. Um, Bart is very. Bart's a great name. Yeah. Curly. Curly. Awesome. Plenty, you guys are great. Yeah. I'd consider it all. Okay. What if it's a girl? What do we got for if it's a girl? Bart. Oh, Bart is. How many girls get to be named Bart? You know. Well, you do Barty. <laughs> Barty's a girl name. Barty is a girl name. Bo. Bo is. Can, okay. Bo can be a girl name, can it? Sure. Yeah, anything yeah. can be a girl name if you put your mind to it. If you just spell it different, then it's always fair game. Right? Yeah, that's true. I got a cousin who's she's a girl her name's Charlie. Charlie. Yeah, and it's spelled C H A R L L E I G H. Oh, so Charlie. Yeah. La Charlie. Oh, I like yeah, that. So all you gotta do is spell it different. Yeah, Charlie also not a bad name. And uh, since this was kind of my idea, <laughs> you know, I think. Uh, <laughs> Michaela, I think we're we're doing good. Okay, let's say for a second that you don't like my plan. What were your thoughts before calling in? Did you think that he should go to this game or no? Well, I want to be a very supportive wife, like a good teammate. So I think we could try to figure it out, but I don't know. I was thinking of backup plans, like someone stays overnight with me. So he can go, and then if I go into labor, it's, as you were explaining to Miles how birth works, it probably will take longer than four hours. So maybe he can get back, but <laughs> Lambo and traffic, and is he parked in? Like, I don't know if it's actually possible. Yeah. yeah. I mean, so I'm going to also say this. You have a very, very reasonable argument to just say, like, I kind of want you to be here just in case we have this kid. Right. Like, I mean, I feel like that's a fair, not just being a good, t like, I feel like, yeah, I, I mean, feel like you got a fair argument there. Miles is just trying to like, um, you know, make up for sins of the past on his, uh, this podcast no. in particular. No, you do. You do have a good argument. Can I ask? So is this the first child? Yes. Like oh, our very first baby. Very yeah. first. You're going to yeah. want to have that kid in Lambo then. Yep. Yeah, that's I just... think that's true. I was going to say maybe don't go to the game, but, you know, you can't miss this golden opportunity. This is going to set your family right for generations. And I hear if you're born in Lambo, you get season tickets for life. I did hear that as yeah. well. Um, I don't remember. That would be worth it. I'm sure I could figure it out. Well, so I actually think you should just go. If you don't want to go to the game, obviously you're very pregnant and it's an environment that's tough for being 37 weeks or whatever it ends up being pregnant. Just being in Green Bay, one, you get the vibes. But then also, if you do go into labor, he could cheese it out of the game. See what I did there? Ah, that was very you could good. could cheese it out of there and meet you at the hospital or go pick you up and take oh you my. to the hospital. What do you think of that? 
So I could just tailgate or yeah, be in Green Bay. Yeah, I, I could mean, just camp out. I could just tailgate outside the hospital and yeah. just you know <laughs> that, tailgate yeah. your pregnancy. Yes. Yes. <laughs> I mean, now we're talking. Now we're thinking outside the I mean, Green Bay here. is not that big of a town. You can probably get anywhere in 15 minutes, right? Well, not during a Packer game. But it, during the Packer game, not everyone's exactly, in the stadium. Exactly. Everyone's Might be the best time. Yeah, that's that, that is true. Dur- during the Packer game, yeah. But you know, starting in the fourth quarter, you kind of get. Well, some you guys are playing bleed. the Chargers. They're not used to the cold, so this game's going to be out of hand by the time the third quarter's over. He can cheese it out of there early. That's true. He could do that. Miles, you are making up for your previous, yeah. my friend. <laughs> oh, <dude>. Climbing <laughs> my way out that's of this hole. That's what Miles likes to do. Just <laughs> get a big old bulldozer, a little. Uh, Get himself a nice little hole and dig myself out of a out hole. Of yeah, that's the way to do it. Um, okay. Um, in all seriousness, what are we planning on naming this girl? I can't tell that on your podcast. Sure, you can. Nobody listens. <laughs> <laughs> we really haven't decided yet. Honestly, we have a script. Well, let's help. Me. Let's, let's. Me and Charlie will uh, help you decide. Yeah. Why don't you give? What are you mulling over here? Yeah. Just give us a few options. Um, <laughs> she uh, we like okay, we like biblical names. Okay, you can from there. Um, so you could go and Elizabeth. Then family names. You could go Mary. Biblical. You yep. go Ruth. You could go what, Charlie? Mar- I like Ruth. You could go Deborah. Magdalene. <laughs> Magdalene's pretty. Magdalene is pretty. Yeah. Yeah. yeah sure. Don't laugh at my name, Smiles. <laughs> Insulting. What was the what was the big laugh about that? What was that? What was the laugh about Magdala? Magdalene. Magdalene. Yeah. Read a Bible, Miles. Because Charlie doesn't know any biblical <laughs> names. We already actually did this this week. That's and not true. the only person other than Mary the the Virgin Mary is he knows Mary of Magna Magdala or whatever. Mary Magdalene. Miles, you don't even know the deal, dude. Well, you know what? You're, Sorry. You know, go to church once in a while, Miles. Jeez. What are the family names you're considering? Um, Eliza and Vivian. Ooh. Ooh, my grandmother's name was Vivian. I vote that. That's a good name. Yes, that's a good name. That is a good name. Any Disney characters? You thinking like Elsa? Or... <laughs> I'm just curious. That uh, that hasn't made the list. It hasn't. Um, but... eh, just pencil it in there. Just see if it Jasmine, grows on you. Maybe Jasmine's a cool name. Ariel. Ariel, Could yeah, be a good one. I don't know how we ended up on Disney names, but well, are are we going with? Um, okay, what what one are you like leaning more toward, and which one's your husband leaning more toward? I'm not sure. We just we haven't really talked about it too much yet. <laughs> we just like started putting them you all know, in there. You know what I love about you, you and your husband, is you guys have discussed the Packer game more than you've discussed the name of your child. I love that. I love that. That's top of mind. <laughs> that is beautiful. Where was- well, I feel like the name, I mean, we got to pick a name. I mean, it's got to happen and it can happen when they're born, but the labor and the Packer game might come first. Yeah, so. that is true. Yep. Top priority. Yeah. Well, we've thrown a few uh, options your way. What, where are you leaning after this conversation now? Um, As much as I love the idea of being in Green Bay, the idea of not being with my regular medical team is a bit much. Uh, That's a very practical side of things. Um, Hey, they could be the third. They could be the other three tickets. Bring the medical team to the game. (laughs) That's, I mean, that is an option. Yeah. I mean, what not a midwife if she can't, you know, help you out in well, all circumstances. Yeah, and right. if, you, if, if your midwife's turning down free Packer tickets, then she probably isn't the midwife that you yeah, want anyway. Yeah, you better find yourself another option there. <laughs> That's true. Well... Um, so, so it sounds like she doesn't want to go to Green Bay. Yeah, I, she's not. I, I don't think so. But you know what we plant? All we can do on this podcast, Miles, is plant some seeds. Yeah. And Michaela can decide if she wants to water those seeds and, and give them the, the sunshine they, they deserve. Now, I will have to say a week before the due date. I don't know. Last time you checked, Charlie, but a week is a long time. Yeah. So seven days. I think that he might be OK with just risking it, you know? 
And if not, you can just try and hold it in longer until he gets there. It could be a good way to do it as well. Michaela, thoughts? Oh, my gosh. Um, I think I think a week is a long time. I think we can at least, hopefully, I don't know. I've never done this before, but hopefully I'll have some idea of how imminent it is at that point. Like, well, uh, since you have, are we going to have to a, induce? Do I go full term? That type of thing. Yeah. yeah. I mean, the question is, you have such a good medical team, it sounds like, behind you. What is their advice? Have you asked them at all? Uh, no, we have not discussed it yet, but I guess we can. I'll put that on the list for my next appointment. Yeah, you're like, hey, check, do the ultrasound, whatever. But let's get that out of the way. Let's talk about the Packer game. You think it's going to happen or no? <laughs> the other thing that you can, uh, well, uh, how imperative is it that your husband is there for this? <laughs> I'm. <laughs> For the for the Packer game or the birth? The Packer game. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> for the birth, how you want him there, right? I want him there. You yeah, do want it. now. If he wasn't there, though, he might be kind of just, just in the way. Honestly, I'm just playing. I'm playing devil's advocate, being a little naughty with this suggestion. But let's say he's not there. Imagine the lifetime. I mean, for the rest of the marriage, you've got the upper hand. He's going to have to yes. do whatever you ask because you can always go to you missed the birth of our first child for the Packer game. You know, it's a lot of leverage. A lot of leverage. I had not considered that. I had not considered yeah. that. Yeah. And, but uh, I hope through our conversation, you see that we're like, I wouldn't. I wouldn't do that to him. Like, you, <laughs> no. No, we not. We would never say he would do that. But we we were just saying if we were in your situation right now, that's where our minds go. Yeah, now we we're are spitballing. You know, that's what this is about. Is we got to weigh all the options here, Charlie. Right, right just now. ideas. We yeah, just, just need yeah. the idea. Yeah, we're just. Yeah. It's a brainstorming session. So, this. have you uh, considered maybe a Zoom birth? Where he could zoom in from Lambo while you're giving birth, so it's like he's kind of there. I don't think like that is allowed. Yeah. <laughs> well, have you asked your well, medical like, team yet? I guess there are people who have recorded home, like home video quarter thing birth. Well, I'm not past, saying but. that he has to necessarily see all the nuts and bolts of what's going on down below the umbilical cord. But it could be just to like, you know, just slap the computer on your chest while it's going on and you guys can be face to face. And then he can get tell you to breathe and all that stuff right there on Zoom. This is an option. This is an option. This is an option. What what does he want to do? He wants to be in two places at once. Yeah, go. Yeah. 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 Hey, ugh, dang it. This kid wasn't born later when we have teleportation, you know, and that that is also, I suppose, a thing to be thinking about, you know, when you're th and this is probably a PSA, you know, when you're thinking about making babies, you got to do the math. Well, that's what I was going to say. Nine, Charlie. Yeah. Add nine months to the to the action. I'm, and then uh, if you're in the Packers season, you, you just got to know what you're dealing hey, with. You got to know when you're planning out when you're going to have a kid. If, if you are planning, there's a red zone. Yeah. See what I did. There, there you yeah. go. Football there's a red analogy. zone. It's a oh, red, boy. red means no go. Yeah. No making babies at this time of year. It conflicts with uh, football season. Season. Yeah. So, um, now, so I, I think you could use that against them as well. You could say, hey, I know you want to go to this game, but you knew this. Yeah. This is on you. You're like, I, it takes two to tango. It so, does. Uh, you, maybe you should have thought about that before, mm -hmm. you know, we went and had a kid. And folks, this is a good reminder um, for making babies. Try doing it during the football season. Yes. So you got. Absolutely. You know, well, not maybe the tail end that might run into that the opener. Into so the, nah, just mid, pre season. Though, so I only think. have only try and get pregnant like September, October time is probably a good time to do it. It's not a bad, bad way to go. Michaela, any thoughts on that? She hung Oh, up. I was just going to let you two go at that because okay. <laughs> no, I just, um, the, um, uh, I don't know. You can cut this out of your show, but some people do not have as much, uh, 
it's harder sometimes for some people to get pregnant. So you have to do what you got to do. Okay. Oh, That's what yeah. I was saying. If you are planning is yeah, what I was going that, for. We were yeah. trying to. Oh, yeah. if you're in the position to plan it. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Now I got to apologize. Yeah. That was me being insensitive. <laughs> Sorry, Michaela. Jeez Louise. I apologize. I think at the other day, to really put it in perspective, you guys are going to have your first child. And I think that I don't want to have to say this and your husband might be mad at me, but there always will be another Packer game. There, but will. there will never be another birth of your child, especially the firstborn. So I don't know. I think you got to maybe put it in perspective for him. Yeah, I guess that's that what True. That's yeah. where we'll probably end on this one, Michaela, is that, you know, sounds like it's it's a no go. But there will be other Packer games. There won't be other first there will children be other being Packers. born. Yeah. Well, it Absolutely. took us a thank long. You for- yeah, it took us a long time to get there. <laughs> Michaela, thank you for uh, hanging with us. Now, Michaela, I still, still think you should weigh those other options. I mean, we're not going <laughs> to like completely write that off, but. When it comes down hey, to it. It's only 20 weeks. We got some time. We yep. got some time. You got yep. some time. Well, we're very excited for you guys. Your first baby. Congratulations. Little Bo. L- little Bo. That's so exciting. That's so exciting. Bowie, I guess, if it's. Bowie, oh. if it's a Bowie. Bowie's a, girl a great girl name. Yeah. Silence Thanks, from guys. Michaela. Silence that. from Michaela. <laughs> All right. Thank you so much for calling in. We appreciate you. Mm-hmm. Yep. Bye. Watch for deer. Well, we are just not the people we, to be asking this advice for. Basically, we just saw a whole like field of eggshells, and we somehow stepped on every single one of yeah, them in that phone yeah, call. That was bad. That was not our best performance, Charlie. Not quite. Not quite. But I mean, we did our best. I think we did uh, something, and I think we learned a lot. You know? Yeah, we grew. We did. You see me? I I was. Yeah, I was kind of mean at the beginning, and by the end, I think I came around. So. Yeah, and then I was an asshole. Yeah, you know, I'm just not thinking. You know, that's all right. That's how it goes sometimes. Also, just side note, absolutely great to call your doctor that's going to deliver your kid a medical team. Yeah, I'm going to use that. Uh, yeah, my medical team. Yeah, I got I a medical that. team meeting about my lower back. <laughs> Instead of going to the chiropractor, I'm gonna go see my medical team. <laughs> That's great. I love that. All right, should we take another one, Charles? Let's do it. Hello, who do we got? Spencer. Spencer. Yep, that's correct. Spencer, we hear you loud and clear now. Where are you at? Oh, I just start the second shift of the day. Where do you work at? Way. Trying to, trying to. Where do you work at? I work at a local uh, fab shop. So we do a little bit of weld, a little bit of this, a little bit of that. That's what we like I to hear. Like that. Yeah. Well, I love it. Belly on up to the bar before you clock in. What's uh, what's going on? What's on your mind? Well, my father, he runs a little mechanic shop here in a small town in Iowa. And uh, he recently acquired a, a jet ski addiction. A jet ski addiction? Yeah, uh, we started going to the lake with some friends, and they had a pair of jet skis, and we were always trying to get Dad to buy a pair. Well, soon he bought one, and we fixed it up. He knew it was easier to fix, and now we're sitting on about 10 uh, jet skis in the shed. No way. 10 jet skis? 100%. Oh, my God. Wow. Yeah, I would say that's an addiction, yeah, wouldn't you, Charlie? Yeah, he's, he's got a problem. Uh, have you guys tried a, a jet ski intervention? Uh, we're trying to train. He brought him to a boat next. We figured he was deep to jet skis. So why not just keep upgrading? But he's stuck on jet skis for some reason. All right. Here's what you do. Here's what you do. You call. Uh, this is. Sorry. I, I was spacing. Father or father-in-law? Father. This is your father. So you call your father. You, here's what you do. You bring your father into the garage. He opens up the garage. And then before him are all the people that he knows and loves doing this intervention. And the way you really nail the point home is everybody's sitting in a separate jet ski. Everybody in the entire <laughs> intervention. Be like, if he tries to say he doesn't have a problem, be like, look, everybody who loves you is here and they all have a seat on a jet no. ski. What? No, that's wrong, Charlie. Why? 
because then he's just going to go, see, now we can all go jet skiing together. Won't this be fun? <laughs> I, I agree with the intervention. Uh, yeah. I think what you got to do is make sure you only got like six people there. Okay. So then it's eight total between you, your dad, and the six other people. And then you can go, dad, these are all of our friends. And you got more jet skis than you got friends. I think this is a problem. <laughs> That's that might be the move. That's what I was trying to do. See, this is why Miles Matt, and I we, team we up on this. Something out like that. What's yeah, that? I can get a couple people together. I think I can get a couple people together and we can have a nice intervention for them. Maybe we can put a nice boat in the middle to maybe persuade him towards the boat side, too. There yeah. you go. Yeah. There you go. And then you can go around and be like, so how do you feel about riding your jet ski on your own? And they can be like, I just want to sit and talk with you guys. And you can be like, see, Dad, we just need to get a boat. We don't need another jet ski. We're all so separate on the lake there in the jet skis. We want to be a family unit. We want to be all as one. A boat or a pontoon can make this happen. <laughs> this, exactly. though, I think if we dig into the psychology here with your dad, uh, he's definitely a provider. He cares about people. He cares about his family. But, yeah, at the end of the day, he just doesn't want to have that much social interaction with you. He wants a nice loud motor to between he needs a nice loud motor and water between him and any other form of conversation. I understand it. Yeah, that's that's right. Cause uh, you know, we'll get on the lake together, uh, me and a couple brothers and him. Well, every time we try and you know, you get done messing around the jet ski and pull us together and you talk. Every time we get near him, he just tries to splash us away. So I don't know <laughs> if he this is his way of getting away for a little bit and that's why he doesn't want to go boat route but okay do all the jet skis work yeah no that sounds right too is he collecting them is he, he like uh, well he figured out he could buy and sell them so he got his stockpile together and he's slowly been working on them but then every time he gets another one running we have more fun riding them and he just never sells them yeah, yeah. so he's got he's not a buy and sell it's just a buy that's what it sounds like Yes. Well, and he tells my mother it's a buy and sell, but secretly he's just buying them all. Now, my my next question is: is who is this addiction really hurting? Uh, nobody that I know of. My my mother mostly because she wants the boat. Okay, there we go. I see. But we, us, the brothers, we don't see a problem with it. But he does keep bringing more radier ones home in the chance of making them relive and it's kind of going off the deep end so maybe we just need to swerve him back into the nicer ish ones does your dad is he a wealthy fella oh give or take wealthy enough to buy ten jet skis that's that's what i'd say <laughs> so it's not you can still pay the bills even though he's buying 10 jet skis what you're saying yeah yeah he likes to he saves that little bit of pool and then uh that that he doesn't tell anybody about. And then he just comes home with another uh, jet ski, and everybody's like, well, "Where'd you get that?" Oh, well, you know, and it's going away. Well. Here's a move you could do without telling them. List these suckers on Facebook Marketplace or Craigslist, and just start selling them off. And then when he gets mad at you, say, "Dad, this is a buy and sell operation. This isn't just a buy operation." Yeah, you were just trying to help him out. He might so try to sell you that after a shot, that. But. Uh, <laughs> it wouldn't surprise me. We actually gave that a shot posting one up, but he's on Marketplace so much, and he knows his jet skis by heart that uh, he kind of had a talking to us and said we had to get permission to sell them before we could start posting things. <laughs> so you've already tried that. <laughs> yeah, we've tried a couple routes. You know, we've tried just uh, taking – I got a buddy who farms down here. We took one out in the middle of the field and slept a for sale sign on it. Well, sure enough, Dad was out that way buying parts and saw it sit in the field and towed it home. Oh, what was what was the what was the conversation like when he got back? What did he say to you guys? Well, uh, we have a, a group chat, and uh, he said, "Come down to the shop." And sure enough, that one was sitting in the shop. And he says, "What was this doing in the field?" He goes, "We have a perfectly good shed to store these in. You don't need a storm out there." And then he grabbed the for sale sign, and he goes, "What is this piece of paper?" <laughs> and I said, well, "Dad, we're trying to get rid of some." He's like, "No." No, this one runs fine. I got another one I'll fix up and sell. <laughs> but, <laughs> I now I'm starting to see the problem. I don't know. I'm kind of on I'm kind it of on your dad's aggravated. team on this. 
Uh, the more I'm, the more I'm hearing it, the more I'm on your dad's team. I think, I think that's his. Uh, he he's made his intentions clear. He likes his family enough to do good things for him. He doesn't want to talk to him. I I can appreciate that. I'm on your dad's side. Well, somebody's got to be because we're kind of. <laughs> seeing his addiction grow we're kind of going the other way with it now but, i want to i want to throw this out there and remind you of this your dad's addiction energy is gonna have to go somewhere if you take the jet skis away from him, and that's either going to come in the form of one a new addiction yeah two he's either then he's going to be in your guys's business all the time because he's got extra time to spend chit-chatting with you guys versus working on his jet skis are you prepared for that it's jet skis or cocaine you pick <laughs> well i definitely go jet skis but we we kind of have slowly started steering them into uh snowmobiles recently oh that's that i is love how you guys are just enablers but <laughs> yeah. you justify being like well it's not jet skis yeah. <laughs> it's snow jet skis yeah they don't no, go I, on they don't go on water they go on frozen water <laughs> sometimes they go on water yeah that's what was that Sometimes snowmobiles go on water too. What do, what is the logic in that? They're, they're the exact same thing. Oh, hold up! I lost you. Say that again. Sorry I said, about that. W- what's the logic in that? They're the exact same thing. Snowmobiles, jet skis. I mean, the only thing with snowmobiles is like there's really not that much snow anymore. So you know. Well, I think he's maybe evolving it so that he can run the, his hobbies twice a year instead of once a year. Yep, okay. year-round addiction. Okay, my question is, is your dad clearly has a certain type of personality. What was his addiction before jet skis? Race cars. Okay, see, I knew there was. Yeah. And so how did you get him out of race cars? (laughs) You moved him over to jet skis or what? Uh, When he uh, had his first kid, mom said it was the kid or the race cars. And thankfully he chose kids. But now we're getting that little bit of hobby energy back and it's going into jet skis and snowmobiles yeah, yeah. Well, there you go ultimatum is the way to go yeah your your mom's got to be like hey i'm gonna leave it's either me or the jet skis and snowmobiles and that sounds like a good way to motivate them <laughs> yeah i see i'm just not seeing the problem here i'm just seeing you guys want a boat you guys should just buy a boat on your own yeah what the heck and just share it with him, and then we can all he can share the skis. We'll share the boat, and it'll be an even Steven. There yeah. you go. Well, and here's what's going to happen, Charlie. He, you know, he doesn't want to sit and chit chat on the jet skis, right? Yeah. But as soon as you guys start taking the jet skis out less, and you guys are having a great time on the boat, he's going to get pretty jealous. I think so. You got to show him, not tell him. Yeah. Just say, fine, Dad. If you're going to have this jet ski addiction, you go do that on your own. We're going to get a boat. And we're going to have fun on our own. And I bet it changes his tune a little bit. I think I think so. Like you're saying with the ultimatum, we'll just have to give the ultimatum of a boat and just, you know, show and tell monkey see monkey do kind of thing. Yeah. Yeah. So what kind of boat are you going to buy? Oh, I'm not sure yet. Maybe a pontoon, maybe a speedboat. I, I wouldn't mind a speedboat. I like the speed. I like the tubing. But a pontoon would be great for the parties. You can tube behind a pontoon. I guess all the pontoons I've ever been on, they all had like 40, 50 horses. Yeah, you just got to get more horsepower on that tune. It'll it'll hum. Yeah. yeah. We could strap a 300 to one and see let her fly. <laughs> <laughs> Let's start with 150, yeah. maybe. Let's take, uh, it, take it easy. Oh, okay. Yeah. Next thing you know, his, his dad's just buying boat engines. <laughs> it's like, that's his new addiction. You're like, Dad, we can't put three 300 horsepower engines behind this pontoon. Watch me. Yeah, just <laughs> nose right up in the air. <laughs> his grandkids are like, what are you oh, breaking their necks? Who gave the tube? pontoon Viagra? Jeez, <laughs> oh, man. Well, you guys have a lot of fun on the water ahead of you, I think. And I, I'm going to. You know, your dad doesn't have a problem. He's got a hobby, okay? And as long as you still have a house, I think it's a problem when you got 20 uh, jet skis and no house. Until then, it's just a hobby, not a problem. So I'll keep my eye on the house market just in case their uh, house goes under, and then we'll have a talk. Yeah. Yeah, Yeah, or you could just keep them going with the jet ski thing. You can get a cheap house on the market, foreclosure. That could help. Oh, oh, I like that route. Been in the... (laughs) I've been in the market for one, and I know that house grew up there, so I know the ins and outs. There you go. And then you're the real winner at all this. Use (laughs) use your dad's addiction to your benefit. I like that. I like that logic. 
There we go. I think we I think we figured it out, Charlie. Somewhere in there. We we untangled <laughs> this fishing knot and now we got ourselves a good solution. I like it. Well, thank you Our, for calling in here. This was uh this was really slick. Yeah, uh, this was very nice. So you uh enjoy that second shift, okay? And and don't think too much about this. It's not that big of a deal. <laughs> Well, I'll uh, I'll be looking in the the boats now during second shift just in case. There, there you go. go. I like to hear. He's that. gonna be spend all of his shift on Facebook Marketplace, just like his dad. <laughs> it's just a revolving door. <laughs> you know, in twenty years, you may have some kids, and uh, they're gonna be like, "My dad's got a pontoon addiction. How do I do it?" He's got seven hundred horsepower on the back of that thing. <laughs> yeah. Oh. All right. Well, enjoy your work shift, okay? And and, and uh, yeah, tell your dad we says hi, okay? Will do. Thanks again, guys. Talk to y'all later. Bye bye now. Bye. Yeah, I think they're fine. They're fine. They're fine. They're it's, fine. What's your addiction? It could be a worse addiction than having a bunch of jet skis. What's your? Have addiction? you ever frowned on a? You ever frowned on a jet ski? I don't like jet skis. What? I don't like jet skis. Why? I think they're stupid. Well, you kind of buried that in that. Why didn't you bring that up to him? You were all for jet skis on the call. I was all for his dad. I, this is his dad's deal. This is his dad's deal. So I didn't want to shit on his dad's okay. parade. What don't you like about jet skis? Well, like when you, when you took me on your jet ski, it was I was like, dude, slow down. I'm trying to enjoy myself. And you were just ripping and roaring. You well, know? I was trying to throw you off. I know. That wasn't fun for me. Well, it was I told fun you, for me. I told you it wasn't fun for me then. I said, Miles, I just want a nice leisurely <laughs> stroll around the lake. And you were just ripping and roaring. We have video footage of you hooting and hollering and having fun on a jet ski. I was so. doing it for the camera. Oh, yeah. yeah. Here we go. Now it comes out. No, they are kind of fun. They're a little annoying, though, like if you're not on a jet ski. Yeah, you're a kayaker. Jet skis are awesome for everybody not on a jet ski. That is true. Yeah. That's a good observation, Charles. Yeah. Well, should we take another caller? Sure. Charlie, after a long day of riding. <sighs> yeah. After you're done riding, mind yeah. you. I think what you should do is you should get on home and you should get yourself some tippy cow. What do you think about that? Ooh, nothing uh, more refreshing after a day out on the hog than Harley. The Harley. <laughs> nothing better than, uh, you know, I was on my hog, but when I'm off my hog, I'm all about the cow. <laughs> <laughs> no yeah. hogs for you at home. Oh, no, get me. Hey. Get me some uh, tippy cow. Tip it on back with the tippy cow. You know what's a good fun spin you could put on it? What's that? You can make a tippy cow float. Ooh. Yeah. I never. Uh, how do I do that? I think you just get a little ice cream to put in there, right? There you go. That's nice. Like an ice cream float, tippy cow float. I'm all about that. Yeah, I think bit. I'd maybe mix the orange flavor with some ice cream. Do a little uh, creamsicle, orange dreamsicle float version with it. I want to do banana split with it. Yeah, yeah. I get yeah. myself a nice little banana split like dish, and then pour some tippy cow over that, and yeah. then eat the whole banana split, and then a little tippy suck cow it drizzle. I love that. All right, Charlie likes himself a little drizzle on top. Let's go, dude. I love. Yeah, that. I'm all about it, Miles. Yeah. All about that drizzle. Yeah. All right. Well, so folks, guys, tip it on back. With try the, a tippy cow float. Tippy you cow. You won't be disappointed. We love it. Welcome to the Belly to Podcast. Who we chit chatting with? Hey, it's Jeremiah. Hey, Jeremiah. How you doing? I'm doing pretty good. How about you? Good. Where are you calling in from? I'm calling in from Wyoming. Oh, wow. Wyoming. Where are you guys at today? I uh, think this is our first caller from Wyoming, Yeah, Jeremiah. Wyoming. Holy smokes. I'm, I'm flying into Cody on Friday. I'm going to go uh, hike the Bighorns with my buddy, actually. Very cool. Very cool. Yeah, I got uh, my assistant manager here at the uh, apartment complex I work for is going to Cody this weekend. Oh, a small world. Maybe I'll see him. What's his name? Uh, her name's Maria. Oh, sorry. Her. All right. I'll look out for Maria. Yeah, we'll do. We'll, Char- we'll make uh, sure to tell her about you. Every gal Charlie passes on the trail is like, are you Maria? Are you Maria? I heard there was Maria here in Cody. Yeah, I'm going to do that. <laughs> Well, what's, well, I don't know if Maria is as bird watching as uh, Charlie is, but uh, as what I is able to talk her up. Yeah, well, yeah, that that sounds good. That sounds good. Why don't you belly up and tell us what's on your mind? We've got an employee at at the apartment complex that we work for that 
he is just awful, man. I, let me tell you what. I mean, he is the most deceitful and just he's just a scallywag. Total scallywag. A scallywag. The is, is, yeah, and the, that's total scallywag. That's, 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 that's pirate for he's not a very good worker. Yeah, I didn't know they spoke pirate out in Wyoming. I got to brush up on that before I go. So he's <laughs> he's just a, a a rascal, huh? Just a scallywag. Okay, Do you I have get any it. examples? Yeah, for us? give us the give us the top three things that he screwed the pooch on. Yeah, you know, I mean, he's just like he takes you know four hours to do two hours worth of work. You ask him what's going on. You never get a straight answer. You ask him if he's clocking in at home, and he says no. But then you catch him on it. He, you know. He, yeah, he crashes the truck into uh, other vehicles or objects, um, but you don't have any proof. Mm-hmm. But you know it's him, but you can't do anything about it. You know what? I, I'll so, stop you there. This sounds a lot like if you employed Charlie Barron's. Okay, enough of that. <laughs> I've only crashed my car into a semi one time, okay? And I sideswiped him. And also, it could have been the semi's fault, Okay. And then uh, beyond that, sometimes you need four hours to do two hours worth of work. Okay, that's that's a thing. That's real. Okay, not every day's your A game. You know, um, give us something real. <laughs> if you got some bush life. You're you're out here um, saying some really uh, slanderous things about this employee, calling him a scallywag. Not a lot of proof. Not a lot of proof is coming to the table. I mean, I'm I'm in defense of the scallywag right now until proven differently. So let's hear something very And, and specific. you know what? Yeah. And, and you know what? You would be right. And that this is, herein lies the problem, is you know that something's up, but you can't prove it. And it's, it's getting difficult because things aren't getting done, but you can't prove what it is that he needs to be doing that's not getting done. You know what I mean? Sounds like a management issue to me. That's what I was going to say. Sounds like a management issue. If you give him a thing to do and it's not getting done, it's pretty simple. He didn't do the thing you asked him to do. Why can't you pin it on him if if something needs to get done and he's not doing it? Well, you're 100% able to. It's just it's, it's small things here or there that it's like not worth attacking. You know what I mean? Ah, so you're not uh, not trying to, f- uh, you know, you're picking your battles here. What, well, what's it called in the court system when you have a bunch of different smaller lawsuits against one? What's it called? Uh, a class action lawsuit is what I think you need to do on him. I think you need to uh, right? That's what it is. I, I think that's like when a lot of people have a problem with one thing or something like that. That's kind of what I'm talking about. Oh, OK. Class action lawsuit. Someone can someone Google that, by the way, regardless, can you gather all of these little things together to make it one big thing? You know, we may be able to do that. That, that may be a good option. Yeah, um, that's the equivalent. You guys start like a paper trail. You know, you got to have your proof. It's hard to fire people. It is hard to fire people and it shouldn't be. And that's that's part of the frustration. It's like, you know, everyone's an at will an employee, but you know, when it comes to a corporation, they want like X amount of write ups and stuff, and it's just difficult. Yeah. yeah. I also think you should maybe uh, spend a day in his shoes and think about, well, what has he got going on? Why is this behavior happening? Is where I would maybe start. Is it is he having a tough time at home? Is he, you know, was it the way that he was raised? Oh, you know, what uh, have, you, have you gone under the hood at all with this guy? Yeah. Well, it's definitely the way he was raised. It's just I'm not sure how much we can go into detail, but he's a member of this this cult. Uh, well, recently an ex member of this cult, so there there is a decent amount of that going on. How do you not lead with that, dude? How, well, why? What are we sitting here trying to pull this out of you for? What's the cult? <laughs> Don't tell me that he was a former CrossFitter either. I want to hear a real cult. <laughs> What a is? former door knocker. Door knock. Oh, are you saying he's? What's the name of the cult? <laughs> Jehovah's Witness. Yeah, okay. yeah. I was gonna say you're gonna have to say it. Um. Okay. So, uh, all right. So, but all right. Well, what's uh, what, what, what is uh? We're dealing. If he's a former member, and there's maybe some trauma with that, Charlie. 
Okay. Maybe that's something that okay. is causing some issues. Well, I'm seeing, I'm okay, you can have your issues. I get that. And he can have his issues, but there's not, you're not giving us the hard things that he's done uh, wrong, even though, you know, he's knocking on a lot of doors. How did you meet him anyway? Did he knock on your door and you say, hey, we're looking to hire? <laughs> Well, we posted an ad, and he uh, he, he knocked on the, the proverbial door to the ad. Who hired him? Uh, that that would be uh, my mate, supervisor, and myself. Okay. Oh, so okay. A lot of betting. Okay, so hold on, though. I got an all idea right, for right, you here. Right. Sometimes when personnel is not performing up to standard, it may not be that they're not a good worker. They just might be in the wrong role. So... What you should do is switch him to a role where he goes and knocks on all the apartment doors and asks, how is your uh, lease going? Is there anything we can fix in the apartment? Is there anything that we can make your uh, (laughs) stay more pledging? He's already a door knocker. Just have him be a door knocker for your company. Exactly. You got doors. Work with the skills he's already great at. You know, you're right. I, I've never thought about it that way. I think that would be an excellent role for him. Yeah. Yeah. And then if he, you know, is still not working out, then you can let him go. But you do have to work with the skill set at hand. I think my buddy Miles is right on this one. I think I think so. I think he may have something uh, may have something there. Yeah. There you you got it. doors and he's got some knuckles. And so have him go knock on those babies. Yeah. You have a job that could fit that description. <laughs> Uh, not yet. Yeah. Not yet. Yes. That's the mentality we need. Proactive. Not yet, but we'll find some for him. Just like a famous Michael Scott once said, I don't fire people. I hire people and then inspire people. See? And that's what it's all about. I think you need to inspire this guy to go knock on some doors. I think so. I think maybe we can, maybe we can, uh, Put him ahead of the maintenance staff, so he's not like part of the maintenance staff anymore. But he just knocks on the doors before they go into the apartment to fix things. Yeah, he greases the wheels a little bit, make sure everything's had. They're happy with the rest of the apartment. See you if know. they are meeting their religious needs. Yeah. You know, <laughs> see if they want to accept Christ into their life. Yeah, you know. Yeah. What do you think? <laughs> do you think that? Would- Materials. You think that would go good in corporate America to be knocking on doors and pushing religion on all of your uh, property management people? Oh, definitely not. We'd have so many lawsuits. It's not even funny. <laughs> <laughs> well, then he would be fired. There so we there go. You have it. Boom. Boom. Best of both worlds. Either you have an entire uh, apartment building that's now a Jehovah Jehovah's Witness as well, <laughs> or. You can, uh, corporate will shut that down real fast and he'll be out of there. So yeah. I think this is a win win for you guys. It's a big solution. We should get paid yeah, you for this consult. Perfect. <laughs> I'd hire you guys as a consulting crew. I think, uh, I think you just created the perfect scenario and we might have to just try that. It'd be so funny. He hires us and then he, Miles, come into my office. So I got this one employee. <laughs> He's always doing four hours of work that should only be two hours. And then I'll just be like, is this Charlie? (laughs) Yeah. And then I'll say, I warned you. (laughs) You know, I don't know how I got this rap. I don't know. I I don't know what I've ever done to to warrant this. I'll just say that right now. It's not what you do. It's what you don't do Mm -hmm. in those four hours, Charlie. You know? Yeah. This is not about me, Miles. This is about his Jehovah's Witness employee. Okay, he's no longer a witness. As of like last week, he's no longer a witness, and now he's all gunslinging, wanting to uh, get tattoos and you know drink call, more. And we call that, that in part. The, we, that part we can live, drink more. That's good. Yeah, he could use it. We uh, call that in the business. We call it an overcorrection on his mm-hmm. part. So. It sounds like he's already on his way to getting, uh, giving you some more um, definitive ways to fire him, though. You know, I think he's well on his way. We're, we'll, we'll see how it goes in the next couple of weeks after his departure from uh, 
from the church. All right. Well, do as what my Miles said, Michael Scott said, uh, try and inspire him first, you know, try to see the world through his uh, sun goggles. You know what I mean? And then go. We'll do. There. I think that's a, and if not, we'll always just follow, uh, follow Miles's advice and, you know, create a scenario that is the best of both worlds. That's great. There we go. Well, I like it. Well, I'll see you in the, uh, this weekend. Okay. That sound good. Tell Maria I says hi. All right. Yep. And you watch for deer now. They're not the, they're not the white tails you're used to over there. All right. What are, what are they? Red tails? Mule deers? Uh, they're, they're mule deer. Oh, mule deer. A little deer. bigger, a little more athletic. Yeah. Oh, that's also cool. Also, watch out for, is there any elk in Wyoming? Yeah. I think they got elk. Lots of elk and moose. Baby. Yeah. Elk, moose. Any grizzlies? In the bighorns? Is that too far uh, north for lots, a bighorn sheep or no? I don't know. Lots of grizzlies and pigs. All right. I'll bring the bear spray. You do that. Maybe the 10 mil or 45. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not a good shot. I'll stick with the bear spray. Uh, all, all right. right. <laughs> well, good chit chatting with you. Yep. You as well. You have a good one. We'll yeah, talk have soon. a good one. Well, Miles. Another one in the book. Yeah. And honestly, that's my real advice. That's what I try and do in my own business is, is there any, are they in the wrong role? You know, is there anything else we can do? Because, um, you know, you want people to come in and stay. Sometimes that doesn't work out. Yeah. Um, but always try and uh, solve a solution another way other than just cutting ties. Yeah. Yeah. Because it's also a pain in the ass to hire somebody. <laughs> you know? I mean, you got one big problem after another there. Yeah, that's true. So do your best. Well, Charlie, I think that was another <clears throat> whoa, good episode. Of yeah. The, huh? Yeah, I'm getting uh, choked up. This is so good. Uh, well, we're signing off from who's on third, ladies and gentlemen. And uh, Well, what's his name's on second? Oh, I forgot about uh, what's his name. Yeah. Anyway, folks, make sure you tip your bartender and uh, we'll talk to you real quick. Okay. Love you guys. Bye bye.